That was the last time you... That was the most recent time you burnt your eyelids off? No, it's, still, it's more like a monthly thing. Oh, that's really weird. It doesn't hurt? Well, yeah, but it gives them time to heal, you know. You okay, heal okay. What's going on, guys? Welcome back. We have another stipulation vintage cube draft today. And uh, today's stipulation was by Tom P. And Tom said, draft blue-red X. Must play Bolus or Twin if able. Exceptions for power. No specific day or time. Happy holidays. Tom, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Uh, I think Tom was actually just like, you know what? I want to I support the stream. I want to throw a stipulation, but I don't want to make it too restrictive at all. So let me pick two colors that Frank enjo enjoys playing together, which he did. And now we get to draft Blue Red X, which could be Boros, could be Jeskai. A monthly thing. <laughs> well, I mean, sometimes, you know, he's got a real issue. He's got a real problem with his eyelids. Or does he? Maybe he does not, which is why they grow back every month. I hate them. I hate him so much. I hate, I hate you again. That was scary when you did that. Good, I'll put the fear into you, boy. That's really... Don't... I, can you not do that instead? Maybe. Maybe. I'll put the fear in you. I'll put the fear in you again. Oh, Mox Jet? Oh, baby. Got a lead on Mox Jet, right, boy? Just checking the other picks. I like a Volcanic Island. I'm sad we're not going to get it because there's no way that thing comes back. Same thing with Demir Signet, but Mox Jet is... Yeah. It's your it's boy. We're going to take this Mox Jet. But Frankie Even if they're might... colorless, they're still so good. Like Soul Ring? Yeah. It's, it's like colorless. a little Soul Ring. It's like a little Soul Ring. But Frankie may say, it's the same thing as a Swamp. Oh. Hey, oh. It's your boy. This time we're definitely playing this dude. Okay. Oh, yeah. And we passed Steam Vents. starting off good, boy. We passed both the Blue Red Lands. But, I mean, come on. Come oh, on. We never said we had to play the Lands. We just had to play Blue Red. Yeah. And there ain't... An X. and X is black. So we're all good. Library is second, t second tier power, yes. Wow. Somebody passed Library of Alexandria. Just, just chef's kiss for that one. <laughs> is Library from Alpha and Beta, or...? No, Michael. It's from Antiquities, I believe. Antiquities. Hey, man, how's your antiquity? How's your ant an antiquities? Antiquity doing? Pretty good. What's the pick here? Days. Gross. Suck on days nuts. No, thank you. Okay, it's your choice. Um. What about Rabble Master? I don't find myself activating it much. Well, then you're probably playing it incorrectly. I, I don't hate Rabble Master. I also like Matic Vandal. I think I think Matic Vandal Maybe is, Days is good. Is main deckable. Like it's not only main deckable, but it's actually very good. Arabian Nights, that's what I meant. Oh I said Antiquities. I got Arabian and Antiquities confused. I think it's either Matic Vandal or Rabble Master, but I like Matic Vandal better because it literally is just removal in this format for some things. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna take the Matic Vandal. I also don't know how many islands we're going to have for days so it could just be kind of unimpressive Imperial Recruiter is good because it actually searches up Manic Vandal and it gets uh, pretty much every creature in this in these this color combination as you can tell because it gets Siege Gang and Looter Oak Core uh, and that's just in this pack I think we're just going to take this guy I like Looter too but I want to play Imperial Recruiter fill our hand and then activate Library which I guess is the same as just activating it before we play this It gets Keekums, Mac Jeekums too. That is, is that his is that his birth given name? Is that his Christian name? His Christian Bale name? Married. What does that mean? His married name. Mac Jeekums is his surname. He's like, that's McJeekums. Okay. Well. What do we got here? Ya boy. Oh boy. We could be blue, red, X with X being green and black. Wow. I mean, I think it's better than any other card in this pack for us. Mm. 
do you disagree? Got him. I was going to suggest the, uh... The what, Michael? The Forge Master, whatever his name is. Called Dotha Forge Master? Mm-hmm. You dumb. But he can make big, big, bigs. But he make big, big... No, you dumb. How are we going to cast that? You tap mana. You tap your lands, you big dummy. Here's an overgrown tomb for no, you. No, but a bazaar. That's terrible. 100% no, overgrown. It's good. It's like you draw cards and stuff. No, you don't. Yeah, you do. False. Are you telling me you literally don't draw cards? Because I'm telling it, it you. Says it, on the, it says it right what, on the card. What card does it say it on? Bazaar of Bugadad. Bazaar of Bugadad. Mm-hmm. Ooh, Trinket Mage can go get our Mox. No. I thought it was Blue Red X, not Blue Red X Y. Yeah, that's a that's a reasonable point. Come on, Volcanic. We have one more pick and then the Volcanic. There's comes no out. way. Still I will good. bet you $20 is not Volcanic Island. I would not take that bet because I don't want to lose $20 to you. Not even close. Treasure Cruise. But you could have this, the other elf guy. I also like go for the throw. I do like actually. I like this the the symmetry between like Edric, and uh, and Leovold. How they're both like regal elves that are in blue green. Okay, let's take treasure cruise if we get a bunch of fetch lines. Oh, and we also have both. They're they're both from Tress too. We got the spy master and the emissary. What did you say? Take what? Probably go for the throw. Yeah, I like go for the throw. Oh, Marsh Flats, though. Yeah, let's take that. It's probably going to be good. This makes all of our black X lands, like black blue or black red lands, be better. And we also have, we already have an overgrown tomb, so. <laughs> I also wouldn't trust these guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hugh, 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 Hugh. Eureka. It's just Chandra here. Could also be Shambling Vent. I don't think Shambling Vent's good, though. We're not playing white. No. It's got to be Chandra, right? Unless we are playing white. We'll just go Ooh, five Oh, the colors. Daze came back? I like how our first blue card is Daze. <laughs> oh, well, I guess It's Leovold, stupid. <laughs> dummy. You big dummy. I'll take Siege Gang. These double reds are making me cringe. These pretzels are making me thirsty. Wow, I've only tried it too. Look at all these red cards we're getting, man. I mean, we're heavy red. Red is going to be one of our base colors. It looks like we're red-black with blue as the X. And also green as the X. <laughs> and oh, also green. So Alright, let's open up this Wonder Bar. I'll open up your Wonder Bar. Wonder Bar. Brought to you for, by Cadbury. For, for those days when you, you wonder about it. Channel, huh? For those days when you wonder about it, mm -hmm. <laughs> please never write any slogan ever. How dare you. For those days when you wonder about also, it. Also, this is from our Canada package, if we didn't make it clear. How you doing over there, man? I'm breaking it. Yeah? Don't get chocolate all over, man. I don't know. That was good. You did good. This is a peanut butter caramel experience. What are we taking here, man? I actually like Scarab God a lot. I also like Sword of Body and Mind. A lot of people don't like swords in the Vintage Cube, but I think they're just fine. Could also take Disallow and maybe cement ourselves in the black in the blue a little heavier. Kind of like Disallow. Yeah, I don't mind Disallow. Was Scarab God bugged? Recurring Nightmares actually doesn't seem terrible with our deck. We have a bunch of value creatures. Yeah. Eh? This card's pretty good. I'll take the Disallow. I think. I don't actually know. Nexus of Fate. Fascinating. Me likey. So this is, just to be just to be clear, it's a Wonder Bar from Canada by Cadbury. A peanut butter caramel experience. How is it, man? It's a little weird. It's a little weird because the peanut butter and caramel. 
I don't think I've ever had peanut butter and caramel. Hunter, back it up. You can't have chocolate, bud. Mmm. Mmm. This is a good old-fashioned counter spell here. I don't Over need... Nexus? This is seven mana. Yeah, but it's arguably easier to cast. Why? Because, like... Because you have so much more time to get the mana? Yeah, right. <laughs> I don't think that works like that. I like Snappy Boy. Dig of course, time. two white lands. I like Dig Through Time. Hmm. Yeah, Dig seems probably like the best card in this pack. Yeah, I think we're back on track. Oh, Badlands and a Watery Grave. Fudge. I'm going to try that Watery Grave here, I think. Really? Why so? I guess we're only splashing black. Hmm. Well, we're not really splashing black. I mean, like, black is one of our main colors. Or black, you mean. But they're both black, is the point. Are we going to play more islands or more mountains? I think that's what it comes down to. Marsh Flats can get either. Yeah. I do like that this is... Water Grave is good with days. I'm going to take the Water Grave. We don't, have any, we don't have any blue fixing yet. Oh, and we get an Underground Sea. Wow, rewarded. That's phenomenal. Yeah, not looking that in the mouth. Not looking to, not looking to gift dual land on the mouth here. Ooh, Pestermite. Oh, I do like a Pestermite, especially because we can get Keekums, McJeekums, or Splinter Twin. I was excited about the Hostage Taker, but I think you're right. Especially because we already have a recruiter. Yeah, this is this is interesting. I'm not used to caramel and peanut butter together. It's a very chewy candy bar. It's also got like a crispy crunch to it. I don't know what that's from. Yeah, in the middle. Yeah, they didn't really explain that on the, on the package. It's like a rice, maybe rice krispies or something, but maybe it's uh grasshoppers. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I hadn't considered that. I mean, realistically, we can actually cut these black cards. Oh, do you think? <laughs> I don't think we have to. I don't think we have any I think we definitely to. play Go for the Throat. Mm. Okay. Or. I mean, it's a combo piece. I don't think you're going to sell me anything else here. I was going to say Inferno Titan, but. This guy's a combo piece. <clears throat> Ooh. Now that's a splashy boy. Or is it just Bone Shredder? It might be Bone Shredder. I don't like how... This is mine or yours? It's not mine. Alright. I don't believe in napkins. Wow, that's interesting. Yeah, I'll take this. You said it's definitely Bone Shredder? Uh, yeah, I think Bone Shredder's better. Alright. Oh, look, it came back. Hooray. I don't think we want it. I think I'd rather have the Sword of Feast and Famine. Take an extra turn, bro. Just makes our... Who cares about that, though? I do. Yeah, I'm the mayor of Extra Turn Town. And I need my taxes. Or the, t or the city's gonna go under. Alright, last bite of our Wonder Bar. You can give me close-up of this bad boy. If it can focus. Come on. Focus on the Wonder Bar. Fine. I don't care. Hmm. Could be relevant. Hmm. I mean, they're both relevant because they're illegal. It's making the splash a lot easier. Mind twist, though. What do you mean, though? Instead of what? I was just saying it's good. You're right. Yeah, hundred percent the pack. Card is disgusting. Not even close. Oh, mind control is fine. I don't know if it's as good. Yeah, it's actually pretty good in this in this cube because it has a bunch of big, gross monsters. I'd rather be twisting than controlling the mind. If we're talking about mind manipulation, I would rather be twisting. Get twisty. 
Come on, Splinter Twin. Huh. I see. Throwing Dynamo? What are we ramping into? Mind twist. <laughs> Take through time, Chandra, like... I feel like we're kind of color intensive. So what? Let's take a mold drifter. I really don't want two Rakdos return effects. We already have mine to us. I don't think we need a Rakdos return as well. Fine, I'll take the mold drifter. Man, I bet that was such a hard choice. Oh, true name nemesis and cryptic command. I don't think we have the mana for true for cryptic command, unfortunately. Also, this tundra would be amazing if we were white, but that's like literally the one color we're not. You're actually going to pass cryptic command for a true name nemesis? It's not like I'm passing it for garbage. Ooh, bribery. Bribery seems insane. I like that we both call it bribery now. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty hilarious. Hopefully this Wandering Fumarole comes back. That'd be nice. Yeah, we're taking the Burberry. Vintage Cube went up today, actually. So. Oh, we did it, boys! Hey. This is a combo with Conscripts, too, right? You put on the Conscripts, you gain control of the Conscripts, they untap themselves, you make a copy, they untap themselves. Yeah, that's yeah. that's what we wanted. It works. That's gas. Treachery? Okay. That's a really late treachery. That is a really late treachery. Our deck is looking busted, boys. I Louis should probably take the Sheldock Isle, because that dude's crazy about Sheldock Isle. However, which pack was Bolton? Bolton. Michael Bolton? Like the singer? Yeah. Wow. Can you name a Michael Bolton song? Uh, Time, Love, and Tenderness. Well done. <laughs> okay, so are we taking Terminator or Magma Jet? Probably Magma Jet. We have a Dread Boar already. You agree with this? Do you have any I arguments? I think so. Terminate's hard removal. Alright. Fine. Bolt was in the pack with Tree. Yeah, there was also Sheldock Isle. I think Bolt was probably my third pick in that pack. Michael is a little boy. I don't think there's anything little about me. You're wiener. Wow. Got him. Wrecked. <laughs> I'm no native speaker, and both calling it Bribery made me wonder if I'd mispronounced it these past 30 years. No. No, we're just we're just having fun. <laughs> Pay respects? Can you name two Michael Mike Bolton songs? Oh, my goodness. And um, how am I supposed to live without you? What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. Uh, unfortunately, our my computer did a little of a, a little of a little hiccup there. Had a little bit of a, a little shit shit explosion there, so we died, and uh, now we're back and we missed the last few picks, but it looks like it looks like they were hypnotic specter. I think no, I think we took the moat earlier. And the angel, I think it was stoneforge mystic. Stoneforge mystic is a really late pickup for a uh, for a cube. Uh, I think it was Avicen's pilgrim search for tomorrow to Rastodon. Probably this progenitus, but we also ended up ended up getting oh avalanche riders. I don't think we had that, did we? I don't think so. And control magic, perhaps. Maybe we did have avalanche riders. Actually, I don't know. Anyway, I think we play the control magic. Oh, abrupt decay. Did we take that? No. Well, let's figure out what we're cutting for. Oh, puppeteer click. We didn't have that either. How many picks did we miss? Wow. I feel like we didn't. We weren't going to miss this many, and here we are missing. I think we can take out brain maggot. Okay. This is also a, a land, so. Oh, here's your deck. Boom, done. Um, do we want to play Leovold? Like, we have so many free splashes. Do we want to play Recruiter? Are you serious? Yeah. It gets Pestermite. Mm hmm. And it gets Snapcaster. It and it gets Snapcaster. Bone, Sp Bone Shredder, Manic Vandal. It gets Siege Gang Commander. Do we want to play Siege Gang Commander? It gets Muldrifter. 
Like, it gets pretty much almost every creature in our deck except for Zealous Conscripts and True Nemesis. You don't want to play CG Boy? Not really. Like, I'd much rather play Leovold, because I think it's a free splash. I don't know if it's free. I don't know if it's free. It's four sources. Right. But for one card, is that's actually a good amount. Yeah, I guess so. Oh my god. Yeah, I think this is our deck. And we can, uh, we'll see how it goes. Alright, so either way, Tom P, really appreciate the stipulation. Thank you so much, buddy. And hopefully, uh, when I edit this <clears throat> after, it's not too big of a deal. Alright, so... How about color? We're going to need a bunch of mountains in here, unfortunately. It's awkward because we need a lot of mountains, but they also don't help us cast Leovold. Actually, we don't need that many mountains, I guess. I really wish we... we had Badlands probably would have been better. If I'd known we were going to get Underground, so I would have taken the Badlands, but... Yeah, but we, we didn't. We did so. not know. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have seven black sources without even adding a swamp. Yep, I think one swamp's probably fine for eight black sources. We don't even have that many black cards. Actually, I don't even know if we want to swamp. Like, this is like literally five, six black cards, and we have eight black, seven black sources. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And a jet. Oh, actually. And we have a mox jet. Yeah, no black sources. All right, cool. Um, well, I don't think we need a forest. Four blue sources. Marshall Lats is five, six, seven. Definitely want an eighth of that. Red sources, we have five, Ooh, six. This is ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Yep, that's not going to do it. Hmm. 5, 6, 7, 8. 8, 6. That's only 6 red sources? Yeah. Aye, 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 aye. Maybe we take out the Chandra because she's double red. Yeah, I could see that. Alright, this will be our main base. We're going to take out the Chandra. And maybe we actually just add, like, Hypnotic Spectre. Um, actually, I like Brain Maggot. I think Brain Maggot's actually fine. Okay. I think you underestimate Brain Maggot. Being able to just rip something out of their hand early. How would I go back to find original art for MTG? I mentioned some of the art... Uh, go on Facebook and join the MTG Art Market groups. Yeah, this is interesting, but I think it looks I think it looks solid. Blue mana seems rough. I agree with you, but uh, what can you do? Magic is hard. We could also greedily cut library. Our deck is a very greedy deck, but I think it's got a lot of things that are cool. We got bribery and treachery and control magic. We can't get a red with marsh flats, which is pretty sad. I'm going to ship this hand. This hand is gorgeous. And perfect. All right. Well, uh, we're going to play grave first because I want to be able to counterspell something. We actually have a surprising amount of ways to kill this guy. None of which are in our hand. I could paint on Friday and then I have a modern deck I'd like. I would love that. That would be great. I haven't done modern in a little bit. Polar Spur. Yeah, feel free to email me and let me know. Uh, you can even send me, so you can send me the deck now if you want, and I can take a look at it. Soul Ring, eh? You can send me at frank at franklepore.com. It's pronounced Soul Ringu. Is it? You know it is. I'm not so sure. Why do you sound like Popeye? I don't know, Dad. Okay. Oh, great. This guy's going to be aggressive. <sighs> okay. Did you say, I don't know, Dad? Mm-hmm. Okay. God, they're just going the distance on this figure. Can we get a Terminate or a Dreadbore? The answer was no. But we can counter something and then snap counter something if we need to. Let's step again. Like we step last summer. Whatever this is, is getting countered. Oh yeah. Put that in the garbage can. Go ahead. Put it in the trash can. Oh, we're actually just gonna mind twist them this turn. 
That seems better. And we go to six, but... You know, it's fine. Oh, we have that, too. You okay, man? Mm-hmm. What's the matter? You doing okay? Palace Jailer is in here now. Ooh, that's cool. What does that thing do? Oh, uh, it's literally like a Banisher Priest for four, but it gives you the Monarch. Ah. Huh. Uh, you probably want to be able to dig here, right? Um, we have to actually be able to block here or else we die. We're at 5 and it's a 5-5. Five, five. So ideally they just play something pre-combat, they're not going to. Well, you just target the counter spell, you don't have to cast it right now. Oh, uh, I can cast it whenever I want, you're not my dad. You're not my counter dad. Wow. Yeah. Are we just going to lose to, like, one figure of Destiny? Because that's pretty funny. If you put these emojis next to each other, does it look like they're going to kiss? Wow. Yeah, you know, a little bit. Are you going to cast something? What? I literally have a counterspell here. Don't be ridiculous. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think we're actually going to be real shy here. It's a thing. Take the soul ring chump. Hmm? What does the soul ring do though? Like nothing. We can also just chump with this. We can go get an overgrown tomb. If we crack this, we have three cards in our graveyard. Which means I have to pay five. One, two, three, four, five, which means you'd have one man up. The only green we can get is gonna cost us, <clears throat> unfortunately. One. I mean, I guess we're just chumping here. It seems fine. It's not ideal, but... One, one, two, three, four, five. Turn to a legendary creature. That doesn't do anything. Might as, well get, might as well get you for some. I can't believe we're almost losing to just like a literal... Neon Tokyo, what's going on, buddy? Oh, busy with work. I, I, I see. I see how it is. Well, you made it back just in time, sir. I can't believe there's like this figure of destiny is like... Go in the distance. Like putting this much pressure on us. Oh, nothing. Alright, cool. Let's get overgrown. Wow, that was the only thing we could get there. Because we had underground and... Oh, there it is. Whew! Uh, let's play black and red. I want to keep Quagmire up in case they have some shenanigans. Play the land, and now we can dig through time. Are we going to crawl our way back into this game? I mean, like, we're at four, but, like, we have a dig, and they have one card as well. So I, I don't think we're crawling back in, per se. Oh, God. What is this? Uh, um, can we just get combo pieces? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Do we have any other counter spells on our deck? <sighs> I think we have a daze, but that's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. We have a disallow, but we don't have the mana for it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we have we have literally we're one shy. Yeah, that's insane, dude. Yeah, we're not we don't have enough mana for disallow. I mean we're still gonna dig here, right? One, two, three, four. And also this is Dreadborn not terminate, so Which means there's not a Dreadborn left in the deck to kill the Elspeth. Also if we hit Pestermite Splinter Twin. Tch, days. Oh boy. <laughs> it's not even good. Not even good. 
Ugh. So ironic, dude. They literally had to have land Elspeth. Yeah. Guess we get the bone shredder? What does that even do? I guess it kills a guy and blocks a guy. Whatever, I'm taking these two. Oh my god, I can't believe Like, what if we just got him with days? We could, like, try to run the, hey, this is a counter spell, what are you going to do? And then they're like, oh darn it, I didn't get it. But then they just land. Yeah. Steal one, kill one? Yikes. <laughs> I think we have to, though. That is a yikes for me, dog. So bad. It's not good, man. Could have waited a turn. How? Oh, we just like take two and go to two? Seems bad. So, let's attack with this quagmire. And green. Nope, that's got to be the green. Alright, so we're going to use green, blue, and black. God, this Honor of the Pure is also killing us. It's probably dealt like four damage extra to... Okay. Four extra damage to us in addition to uh, making it so that they can just really do some work to us with this Elspeth. With these 1-1s. One -ones. Oh, man. Watch, well, it's going to be True Name Nemesis, which ordinarily is an impressive card. Well, that sucks. Actually, more freaked out that I called that. Let's go to the next game. I guess the one thing we're missing is like a damnation effect in this deck. Yep, that was really weird. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, we're dropping a ton of frames. I don't know why. Sorry, guys. This draft has not been ideal. I don't know why. All of a sudden, Felipe gets home. I wonder if Felipe's doing anything. I will message him. Because if we were doing fine, and then Felipe got home, and it's like, oh, now we're not doing fine. Gonna find out. Yep, we're dropping a ton of frames. Um, I don't hate Siege Gang Commander in here. For what? Your mom. Mm. What are we? Which one are we connected to? connected to <laughs> my VPN's on as well which I meant to shut off before streaming but it's not telling me where I'm connected to so give me one second I'm just gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna disconnect it because I don't feel good about it I think it's probably also affecting the stream so Chandra is a sweeper, actually. We can bring Chandra in. Let me take out, like, control magic. Alright, so, uh, yeah, I'm gonna try again. Try again, try, try again. I will play first. 
this hand seems great. I will keep it. Okay, hold on one second. I'm gonna have to restart this video too. So it's gonna be a bunch of spliced videos together, unfortunately, but whatever, it's gotta be done. Okay, hopefully you guys won't have noticed that in the videos. And let's make sure the chat's working. This has been a thing. This has been a whole thing. Okay, we did it. Anyway, that was an ordeal. All right, we're back. That should help. <laughs> Felipe's response when I asked him if he was doing anything intensive was, nope, just shitting. All right. Wow. Well, what do we play here? What's our first land? I think it's... I think we're going to Martial Arts. We can't get a red. I want to make sure we actually get the, uh, the... I think we can get Watery Grave with this. We already have a Black Star, so we can go Watery Underground. And then next turn we'll have Disallow up, which is pretty nice. Or we can just play Leovold on turn two. Blue, green, black. Oh, that's gas. Sometimes a good poop takes a lot of bandwidth. Wow. So close. Oh, just next turn it's going to be gas. Because then we get to untap our lands and keep up disallow, so... You know, that's pretty cool. You know, that's pretty cool. Oh, that's pretty cool, you know. Mike is looking super edgy today. Why? Because he's so I? close to the edge? That's probably why. I don't know why. What are you doing? Oh, dear God. Yeah, no, I just want my Leovold. Oh, what we can do is let it resolve. So it targets Leovold. We draw the card, and then we can disallow the trigger. That seems like gas. So I'll get less close to the edge. Blue, blue. Yeah, this is better. Wow, this is great. Oh, um, why did you not? There you go, blue and black. Sure. Draw a card. Oh, that's gas. Leovold Tech, and then they're like, "Oh, go to game two. Wow. <laughs> See, this is why you splash Leovold because the card's utterly insane, dude. I actually like Hypnotic Spectre a lot, too. Dang. It also gives us a way to pressure Planeswalkers a little bit. I also like Abrupt Decay, too. Dang it. All these cards are good. Maybe we take out Treachery? Yeah, yeah. I like that. It's pretty subpar, actually, here. If we had some way to play Moat, that would be pretty epic. Um, Hypnotic actually is probably better than Manic Vandal. Alright. Yeah, I like this. Wow, Leovold, dude. Remember that time they just conceded with Leovold? They're just like, no, nah, I'm good. Can't handle it. Man. What a crazy thing. You know what? I'll keep. On the draw, I'll keep. On the play, still would have kept. Got that big bribs. Who calls it that? You, apparently. My dad. No, son. My dad. Wow. My dad. What is the islands? Come on, man. Apparently the library was too much to handle. See, and this is why you play library. <laughs> All right, that's a weird concede. I'm not sure if we would have actually been able to do anything. We did not have a lot of gas. We're actually in a them. bad shape. Yeah, this is something, man. All righty then. Let's. Uh... Okay. I think we're good like this. I don't think we need two of these effects though in the Vintage Cube. 
So play what over it? Hypnotic, maybe? Okay. No, nah, man, I'm telling you guys. Leopold, look, Leopold and Library of Alexandria. They're too strong. Maybe they had an opponent can't draw a card stiff, and they're like, dang it, they did it. All right, I guess we have to concede. Wow, because both times when we drew a card with Leovold, they scooped, and when we drew a card with Library, they scooped. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> and they're like, dig through time, huh? Well, technically, that doesn't draw you cards, it just puts them into your hand. All right, we're still good. Yep, that's the thing, all right. It's quite the step. Oh, yeah, keep this all day. All the colors of the wind. Can you paint all of my colors with the wind? <laughs> you don't paint them with the wind, you... S sure you do. You mm. never been wind painting, boy? Uh, yeah, no, I did. I used to go wind painting with my dad when I was a kid. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that was... See, that's what it's we're talking about. actually talking. a good draw. Uh, we're going to go get a watery gravu. And then we're going to play Blood Cleave Cliffhams. Blood Black Cleave Cliffhams. Blood and Black are pretty much interchangeable in uh, Magic Black Redlands. Mike's going to paint the air with his wind, if you know what I'm saying. With farts. I'm saying farts. <laughs> yeah, I got it. It was implied. And also... Direct. Oh, wow. Really? You're just going to give me that Mox Jot? Mm, black. Hippie boy. Oh, wow. Next time we can go sword equip. Oh, buttery biscuits. If you don't kill this, you're going to kill it, aren't you? Oh, wow. Assassin's Trophy? Um, Yeah, deal. Good deal. Is that your mom's? Mm -hmm. Is she t yelling at you again? Huh. Um. Well, they're gonna they're gonna draw a card. But I think it's okay. You know what? You can have that. So one, two. Three, four, five. One, two, three. Sword. Hmm. Seems pretty good. Pro black, pro green. Leovold. Hmm. Hmm. I had pick one opposition. Pick two. I had. I had pick one opposition. Pick two. I had to choose between Moxie Remanager and I chose Drain. I would. The drain. Drain is probably better. Especially if you're already in blue. Um, Alright, so pro-black means that I don't care about shardless agent because... Or pro-green, rather. So that's cool. You can also not kill it. Um, you can just take it and bash him for a bunch. So what, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10? It's not really super exciting. Hey Frank, been watching your videos on YouTube for almost a year now. Love your content, basically everything about Twitter Magic. First time I managed to get live in Australia, so I want to say hey. And plenty of subscribers to the Johnny Briscoe, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Thank you. You're a kind soul. I'm glad I could provide all of this entertainment for you. All of it. I don't know what to do here. I don't think this. I don't think it's worth just stealing a two-two and bashing. It's a lot of damage, but like it doesn't give us any kind of like way to to close out the things. We didn't get to use our mana, unfortunately. But you know what? That's fine. That's just like a price you gotta pay. Uh oh. Ooh, uh -oh. Don't kill my treachery. I'll be so sad. I'll be so sad. One, two, three, four. Bribbery. Do we even have that good of creatures in our deck? No. And we get to draw a card? 
Let me let it be a counter spell. That's fine. Neon Tokyo with the gifted sub. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. I say you're the hero this stream needs, not the one they deserve, though. I don't think our creatures are that good. We have Zealous Conscripts in here. We don't have Siege Gang in the deck. Like, I think it's Snapcaster Assassin's Trophy, but they didn't leave the mana up for it, which is great. True Name Nemesis is a good one to take. Yeah, it's probably True Name Nemesis. It makes us not be able to attack, which is pretty good. Yeah. Yes. It is good. I wanna take I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna take this damage. I mean technically we can still attack. We can steal this guy. That's brain maggot and see what you got in your little in your little brain hand. Brain hand. That's what they used to call me in college. Brainstorm and mana confluence. Boring. Hmm. What can we steal? Ho oh, what? Could steal this, then we attack for seven. They're probably not gonna probably gonna block here, take three, four, five. That doesn't seem great. Alright, so they basically have mana confluence in hand and they're working off the top. Now they didn't play Confluence which is nice because now we know they still have Mana Confluence in hand. Alright. Oh that's gonna be real good. No, no it's not. Oh you're right. That's okay. what I meant. Oh we should have like left them with the brain. Probably should play Bone Shredder just to get a flying throw on the board. Oh and we can actually put the sword on it? Yeah. Ah oh, god I don't hate that. just can't kill anything oh it's an artifact isn't it yeah it, like, it gets no we get no value out of it oh yeah. it's also a may ability no it's not even a may ability so well, i guess it doesn't kill anything black black untargetable artifact like it literally kills nothing on board it is a clock but like what if they play something big and then we just have no answer to it that's my concern yeah that's fair i'm just gonna wait okay we're just gonna draw splinter twin here i mean confluence conscripts is good for big boys once oh mall drifter that's actually exactly what we're talking about here michael we just drew a mall drifter you don't care because you're talking to your mom on the phone bobby listen bobby i'm an adult now you don't have to message me 17 <laughs> times a day bobby listen to me that's how you sound that's how I sound. I know. It's weird because I didn't say anything. Yeah, but you sound like that. Hmm. I know. I was weirded out by it, too. I like that they still have Confluence in hand. 6 CMC 1 1 Flyer. Yeah, it's like. Oh, uh, it's what it's called an investment. Look it up. Confl look it up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I hate you. So they have 10 mana. They were going to play something, so whatever they have is playable. Or this is like... E yeah, not blocking. Why not? I think they drew Toxic Deluge. <laughs> Why not? Because they wouldn't attack with this unless they want me to do something. Yep. Okay, so they have no cards in hand. Well, that's sad. That's real awkward. Uh, one, yeah, two, three, four, I five, mean... six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eh, that's fine. So we have to lose one creature. Oh, we can easily lose the discard all cards in your hand. Uh, click done to discard your hand. Wow. All right. Choose two creatures you control. You and you. Done. You get your brain. God, I hope they brainstorm. I really hope they brainstorm here so that they have to... No, they didn't. <laughs> no, biscuits. 
Oh, that actually kills this guy, which is great. That's a cool interaction. Move the sword over. I mean, they would lose one more land, but we would lose one card in our hand. And I don't think... I think a card in our... I think just throwing away a land so that they lose when they have more mana than us to begin with is probably not the best idea. I mean, it's a, it's a cute play, but I don't think it's the best idea. You okay? There's a hair in my eye. From where? From my hair. A hair from my hair? Yeah, it was like, you know... Is it coming out of your forehead? Kinda. Oh, that's a bummer, man. The old forehead hairs look at you every time. Alright, they have no cards in hand. Where'd the brainstorm go? Did they discard it? Weird. Hmm. Show me what you've got. Snap, Snap. seems decent. Uh, does it? What do we get? Like, there's literally no cards in here to get back. I just assumed there were. Okay. I'll just get Pestermite because it's an infinite combo with something. Hunter, you need to stop, dude. You need to get your life together. Yeah, this is why you should let me burn off your eyelids, bro. I want to keep moving this in case they draw, like, a black removal spell or... I don't know. A green removal spell, I guess. Wow, this is a lot of man lands. A lot of creature lands that they have. It's actually really kind of weird that you don't let me just burn off your eyelids because... Like, what are you afraid of? Oh, I don't have any eyebrows. Whatever, man. This is just alpha time, right? Yep. Alright, cool. They figured it out. Wow. Treachery on Leovold, boys. Now... Here's a suggestion. Okay. Take out all the creatures. <laughs> I'm definitely taking out Bone Shredder. That guy is terrible. Um, balance is kind of obnoxious. I like Chandra because she's good. I like Chandra because she's good. Yeah, I think that justifies itself, does it not? Does it not? I like Abrupt Decay as well. That was very good. Mommy, what did you say to me? Mommy, what is your response, Mommy? <laughs> she hasn't responded yet, I'll have you know. Oh, that's too bad. She said she was upset. At what? I don't know. At you? She didn't say. She's always upset at you. Why don't you just move out? I already did that. Oh, that's right. I <laughs> forgot. No, you know I live here, don't you? It's hard to tell sometimes, man. What's the pick here? Do we, do we bring anything else in? No, it's fine. Do we Submit. like Hypnotic Specter? He's already in the deck. I don't want them to... S no, I'm asking, do we like it? Do we want to take it out? We haven't even really tried it yet. Yes, we did, and they Assassin's Trophy didn't. We got a free land out of it. Michael, you be my mom. Sure. What about Chandra? Do we want to bring Chandra in? Sure, for what? Days? Kind of. We haven't gotten them with days yet, though. Let's see, cutting the brain maggot for it. I don't know if we have enough islands to really be days in. I want to bring in. We, the... we almost always have an island. Because whatever we fetch is typically an island. <laughs> Did you like that? Yeah, it was good. Thank you. It was real good. How good? Super good. Yeah, the best. I don't know if I'd say the best. It was the best, Michael. Um, I actually like this hand. Treachery and bribery, it's hard to go wrong. So where's that blue mana, though? You know where it is. I don't. You know. I really And we know. do have two playables and a third playable with any land, so. You know where it is. It's right on the tippy -to top. Tip top, schlibbity schloop schlop. That was not it. Do you want to replicate this? I kind of do. Okay. Or. Yeah, they didn't really... take from his hand first. Well, they only have islands, which is why I'm killing this now. Because if they don't have anything to, if they don't, if that's their only other non-blue source, cool. Dang it, it wasn't. Dang it. 
You messed up. Hunter, stop. Get out of here, dude. Hunter! Oh! What did he do? He's just messing everything up. And I love him. He's the best. <laughs> but he's being a little shit burger right now, and uh, I'm not having it. Uh, we we'll probably take a hit off that. Oh, uh, we can't because it would actually kill the brain maggot. Shut up and take my money. It is an enchantment. Oh. To sh get to you sh some bucks. I d well, I did. You just gave me some bucks. Okay. Well, I would really like a land here. Now I'll take a gander. Kerwood, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Ooh, was gonna say welcome, and that doesn't work for donations. Well, let's see what you got in your little. Wow, control magic, Ojitai. Mirari's Wake and Mana Confluence. Huh. That is a thing. Well, at least we don't care about the control magic, really. Yeah. We also don't care about the Dragon Lord Ojitai with Terminate. We're just going to take the Mirari's Wake. So, Confluence, Ojitai, Control Magic. And thank you. Appreciate that. Ideally, we'll draw, we'll draw three lands in a row. Two of them will be blue sources. When my cat gets out of line, I eat him. Just an idea. Hmm. The best part about that is it only has to happen once. All right, so these two are gone. All right, well, I'll still take it. I still accept the offering from the magic gods. From the magic gods. They're going to turn this dude sideways, and they're going to think it's safe, and it's not going to be safe. Shoot it. Shoot it. Shoot it and boot it. Shooty tooties, Mick Fluties. That's a good one. That is a good top deck. Well, oh boy. Ooh. I'm uncomfortable right now, good sir. Yikes. So we got an Ojitai, a Trigon Predator. Yeah, that's that's gonna be a problem. Also, Hunter is not a cat, just to be clear, in case you guys were not sure about Hunter's, uh, what? Hunter's what? <gasps> Can we just... Can you just take the... Right, but they have control magic, don't forget. Oh, yeah. We could also bribery. Then they have control magic. Dang it. Thank <laughs> you. Oh, yeah, we'll bribery instead. Well, if we treachery, though, we'll have disallow up. That's what I'm talking about. Now, I knew I knew there was a line there somewhere. You yeah. are so smart. Also, we can attack. We can equip, attack, and then still have disallow up because it's going to be pro black, and this creature becomes black. Oh baby, gravy. Blah, 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 blah. Although the problem is that they do, they can reanimate Trigon Predator and kill our treachery, which is a little scary. But, but, maybe they don't. I don't know. Magic's hard. They're really thinking about it. Oh, they're not actually going to respond. Well, that's something. Do they have a response to that? Oh, they're just going to kill it. Oh, they're going to kill that. Okay. Oh, uh, we got double blue. We got double red. I'll just get another blue. So what can we do here? One, two, three, four, five, six. This costs two, so we have four left over, and everything is going to untap. Can we dig through time? Oh, we can dig through time here. Yes. Let's dig with the trigger on the stack. Do 
Do we care about anything in the graveyard? Yeah, we have Snapcaster, so we want to keep something in the graveyard. And one, two, three, four, five. So we can use a red. Actually, we can use the green. I don't think we're going to be hitting Leovold here. Maybe we will. We want to, like, if we hit, we can actually use one blue. So it's five, and then we can go dig. One, two, three, four. Get rid of Treachery. Uh, Terminate's just better. Abrupt Decay's real good, though. Yeah, but Terminate's better. Thank you. Yep, there's Snapcaster. Mind Twist that I don't really care about. There is Leovold. One, two, three. Do we play a land this turn? Yes, we played an island. Okay. Actually, Counterspell's not bad. This red is pretty obnoxious, though. If it wasn't a mountain, we could actually play Leovold and Counterspell. Keep up Counterspell. I think we're actually, with this, since they didn't actually get back a guy, we're probably just going to Bribery here. Um, if they control magic, what can we do about that? Not much. Not much, actually. It's unfortunate. <sighs> One, two, three, four, five. We can actually get Counterspell, and if we hit another blue source, we can... Actually, we can go dis... All right, no, we're, we, we got this. So what we're going to do is we can attack... We can play Bribery post pre-combat next turn. Um, attack with Brain Maggot, untap our lands, and then we get to keep up Disallow. Which means we have... God, this is actually tough, though. I think Snapcaster is definitely one of them. I don't care about Mind Twist. I don't care about Library. I like Leovold. I think you're overvaluing Leovold here. Really? Yeah, Counterspell seems pretty good to have. We already have Disallow, though. All right, fine. Counter I'm going to go... Yeah, we already have Snapcaster, too, you know? So we've been taking Snapcaster and we have a Disallow, so it's like three Counterspells already. When like all we're, like the old, the last card in their hand is Mind Control. Or Control right. Magic, rather. What if we... Oh, black, green, hell, that's not going to work. One, two, three. Actually, what if we take Mind Twist? Do we Mind Twist them for two? Or for one, just to get the Control Magic out? Let's do that. Oh, sure. Mind Twist and Snap. Yeah, that's definitely what we're taking. Uh, any order's fine. And then we can go one, two, mind twist for... Oh, we're still in combat. And then we can just get the control magic out of their hand, which is gas. And we're going to take five here, but that's fine. I'm surprised they haven't used that yet. Like, last turn, I probably should have gotten Trigon Predator back. And then kill the Treachery on my turn. And they played a land, so this is great. We can actually Bribery first. And no matter what they get back, we get to untap and do something, too. Even if it's just Snapcast or Terminate. This is actually really strong. Uh, let's play this first in case we want to untap that, depending on what we get. Wow, what did we get here? Oh, Emrakul the Promised End! Seems good. <laughs> oh, that's a dude. Mystic Snake is not good. Charlotte Sage and Shriek Ma. Yep, we're just going to get the Emrakul. What are they? 13, 13? What are they at? 13? Okay. This makes a black creature, right? Except it's yeah. a 4-4 four, four black zombie. Yeah, so this is pretty much unbeatable. And we have not only Disallow, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then we have, we have Disallow, and then we also have Snapcaster uh, Terminate. So we could also we could Terminate this and Disallow the activation if we want to. So that's pretty good, but we also have just Emrakul, so we don't really care. Yeah, they're dead. Also, we can put this on Emrakul next turn, which is kind of cool. Uh, what are you getting back, Ojitai? Sure. Yep, I will go to nine. They get one card? Yeah, sure. Pro black on Emrakul seems pretty insane. You know what? You can have it. Yep, you're dead. <laughs> oh, bribery is a hell of a card, dude. 
He does have a flying blocker. No, oh, he, no doesn't. he doesn't. It's pro it's, black. Oh, yeah. And it has trample. So. And we have Snapcaster Terminate. So, like, there's multiple reasons why that dude is never blocking. All right. We are 2-0 with this deck. Seems good. Again. Was not expecting it. All right. Well. Not, uh, kind of a surprising day today. Like, all three of our decks, because of the stipulations, I did not expect them to do incredibly well. This one actually had the easiest stipulation, but I, didn't, I don't feel like we saw many of the blue-red cards that really make the deck. So we kind of went a little wider. And we're still 2 Gonna so. get wider, wider. I don't think that's the thing. You don't, you know, by getting wider? Homie, you get wider on? No, no one, no one gets wider on. Are you sure? I don't know what you're saying right now. Where are we going to go get food, man? What's, the de what's our know. dinner plan? said you didn't want to drive too far. Is it still raining? I don't think so. You don't even know, though, do you? No, you know, I don't exactly know. <sighs> Why do you even have a degree in meteorology if you never actually know the weather? It's unbelievable. They gave it to me. It was just like a, was just a spoof degree. A spoof know? degree? It was an honorary degree, you know? It was just a goof. 100 wide bits charity. Nice. <laughs> Grimwolf, thank you so much, buddy. Appreciate well, this it. This hand's a snap keep because it has true name nemesis, which is absolutely filthy, disgusting. Is it? Is it though? I don't yes. actually. Is it? Dude, like, there's literally nothing they can do about it. It's just an automatic seven turn clock that it's just like, well, this is just part of the game now. I only have seven turns to live. And we're on the draw. We get an extra card. All right, James, I'm going to trust you too, buddy. Dang it. All right, this was this was Mike and James convinced me to keep this hand. Be a mox. Okay, well, you're not a mox. If we can get a mox, turn two true name would be legit. Well, we have dig, but I don't know how we're filling this graveyard. Hunter, what are you doing, buddy? Oh, that's the perfect land. God, that's real good. Oh, that was a good land to hit. Holy smokes. Because now any black source and we can cast this, this. Oh, yeah, we're doing good. Oh, yeah, that, that guy's dead. What'd you get? Zealous Conscripts? Choose a player. Get protection from the chosen player, right? Protection, yeah, I'll choose you. Well, that's a good card to, to play. This is well, this is round three, so I doubt they're gonna this this person cannot board out for the previous opponent. <laughs> that is that is not how rounds go, Bobby. <laughs> Bobby. Is that is that your king of the is that your king of the hill meme? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, we're actually probably just casting that guy in. And praying. What have they hit so far? Three lands, a disallow, and a mox jet. Hissing Quagmire and Blue Marsh is awkward because now we actually can't cast. No, we still can. We have one green source. Every we, As long as we hit another black source, we're good. Surprised you didn't go to the face there. Why would I go to the face? Just get it over with, man. I don't think that's how that works. I'm really actually kind of surprised that we didn't hit a single land. That's actually incredible. 19 cards. We've hit three lanes. Mike Mom, my shirt smells bad. Will you fix it? <laughs> yep. All right. So land, land. Oh, I guess because they've hit one, two, three, four, five of our lands. So, you know, that's cool. I don't think it is cool. Uh, we don't have a red source, though. So I'm not really like, I don't want to. What do you even name here? Joke's on you, buddy. I don't even have that card. Oh, God. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding? Anyway, that's real good, but not right now. What do they name with their Just little the bug? Sculptor. Okay. With the, it's a horror, not a bug. It's a bug. Your mother's a bug. Wow. Got him. Did you? I got you. Oh, Nexus of Fate? What, how many lands you got? One, two, three, four, five. Choose a non-land card. I kind of have to take the Mizium Orders. Actually, you could just repeal this guy, too. 
None of these things are good. Maybe more just killed our true name though. Uh if they is it does it? No, it doesn't. Because it deals four damage, and this has protection from all things that guy that doesn't. Nothing kills true name, dude. Are you sure? Can people in the chat explain that Mizzy Mortarist doesn't give... Well, he's a protection from your opponent. Correct. correct. Does that include the spells he casts, per se? It is damage. When a creature has protection from something, how much... How, what happens to the damage? But it doesn't have, it doesn't have pro-red, though. It just has protection from your opponent. And when your opponent casts a spell... I guess... So how come I, how come I can block this guy and it doesn't die? This is he doesn't have protection from Phyrexian Revoker. I guess I guess because they control it, it still counts. As it can't damage. be dealt, blocked, targeted, dealt damage, or enchanted by anything controlled by that player. Okay, it's literally in the play. It's in reminder text, bro. That's why Toxic Deluge is like the only card that kills it. All right, so I think it's just repeal. If you want to waste a Mizium Mortars on this guy, it's fine. It also means you can't do it on your turn. This is taking forever, though. I don't even know why we're still going to Ashiok. We're just going to Dreadbore it next turn. Yeah, that was weird. Shut up. <laughs> got him. Um, so, one, two, three. I got Bribery, Mind Twist, and Treachery. Oh, uh, bunch of hits there. All right, so now you have no mortars, but you do have Repeal. So your hand is Repeal, Snapcaster, Nixus of Fate. Yeah, we're probably just going to kill this guy now because... Must be. All right, we have eleven cards in our deck. We gotta win with eleven cards in our deck. And now they have Nexus Fate too, actually. Oh no, they're just gonna Snapcaster Time Walk, and then they're gonna Nexus Fate again. Okay, so yeah, that's cool. That went well for everyone involved. Let's begin. So this Bone Shredder is actually unimpressing me, left and right. Stop. Go. You're being a little. You're being ridiculous. I love you, but you're being bad. Yeah, I feel like Abrupt Decay should probably just be in the deck. Hunter just wants to love. No, he just wants to be obnoxious. I'm pretty sure the hand wasn't keepable. I think it's too slow for this cube. Like, I think Trinium Nemesis is great and all, but you give them seven turns after you do it. So, like, you're not winning to, like, turn... You play on three, like, turn ten? Yeah, we would have been with left with like five cards left in our library if he didn't have another way to take an extra turn. If he didn't have a way to take an extra turn. Is this how you're going to be? If he didn't have a way to take an extra turn. Don't touch my cards. Don't you Too dare. bad. Don't you dare. Hmm. Try again, try, try again. Uh, this hand is actually I will keep despite the mana, because we have multiple plays here. Cards aren't even good. Which ones? The ones you're holding? Mm -hmm. Wow. How dare you? Oh my God! Seriously, what are the odds of drawing four islands in a deck with only? I don't know, probably four islands. Can anyone, can any, are there any statisticians out there that want to? Wow, dozens of answers? I don't think there's dozens of answers. That seems a little hyperbolic. There are likely a few answers to, uh, to true name. I mean, like, tr edicts are an answer to true name if they have literal zero other creatures. Wow, this is ridiculous. It's okay, we're just building up for our treachery. We sure are. What's this? What's this? I can't believe my eyes. Got him. <laughs> got him. We did got him. He got wrecked. Okay, well, that's... Just gonna keep on passing here, I guess. Do you think... Or? Oh, Mesmer. Sure, have fun. Fiendo. I don't want to take disallow, though. Yeah, just disallow it. There's no reason not to.
Thrawn, Red Man off the top, and then we can Ashiok for five. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> that was cool, the way that happened. Come on, guy. Play a guy. Let me get a red mana. I'll treachery the guy. I'll untap my lands. I'll conscripts this guy. I'll put a mole drifter into play. And then... Okay, well... Still can't even dig through time. I know. I'm aware. I feel like these game threes, all of our all of our third rounds have been pretty miserable for different reasons. It's when you get into the big boy bracket. Yeah, what is it? What I mean, like playing against, we played against Solemn Simulacrum, Mesmeric Fiend, Ashiok. Like our opponents Ashiok's aren't even OP, doing. Man. Yeah, but it's really easy to manage for our deck. Like we have Abrupt Decay, um, we have Dreadbore, we have Zealous Concerts. We have tons of answers. We're just literally not drawing lands that allow us to utilize them. All right, well that's fine. If we, the, if we had the Badlands, it gets the thing. That's really ridiculous. Um, let's go you. Say yes. And we'll play old, good old Leovaldo. We're not dead. They have seven cards. We have five cards. They probably have multiple time walks at this point. So they're going to Ashiok, time walk. Excel, this Excel's from the hand as well, huh? Yeah, that's pretty good. So as long as they have one time walk in hand, that was as long as one one time walk effect, then we're pretty boned. Because they target us, we draw a card, and then you know what happens after that? They Die. Time, they time walk, and then they ultimate it and exile all of our things. Oh, they're just putting a guy into play. <gasps> oh, it's big name. It's it's big name nemesis, big name nemesis. Cool. But it was not cool. Oh. Oh, they didn't. Oh. Oh my. Come on, just give me a red source. Don't be like this. Don't do me like that. No, do me like that. I kind of want treachery than dig. Three... One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, and treachery the stinking young peasy. I really want a red source here. Kenobi, thank you so much for the bits. Really appreciate it, buddy. I mean, I guess we do get a token out of it. I don't know what to do here. I'm afraid. I have fears. I don't know if they have a counter spell. We haven't actually seen a counter spell. Yeah, but we're gonna. I guess we'll find out. A braid Leovold. Okay. What if we get a red source here? That'd be gas. Not a red source, but pretty okay. Oh, this could be good. Are you gonna are you gonna kill this guy? Wow. Why not fatal pitcher before my treachery result? Now you're gonna let me untap lands and you're also not getting the extra token. That was a weird that was a weird play. <laughs> All right, well, you literally just turned... You gave me a lot of opportunity there. So now we get to Mind Twist you for three. One, two, three, four. And then we get to Dig Through Time. Seems good. Or, hold on, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'd have three mana. If we can get Red Source to Dread Boar, we can kill this, which is actually pretty strong. It might just be worth Mind Twisting, though. Yeah, we can mind twist. Um, one, two, three, four. Nope, don't do that. Uh, what? Oh god, it does this weird thing where like if you have to retap, it doesn't do it. 
Target you. One, one, two, three. Done. Terminate Island and Nexus of Fate. So it shuffled back in. Oh, they did have Nexus. Why wouldn't they Nexus of Fate last turn to exile our entire hand? I have no idea. That's really weird. These plays are really suspect. One, two, three. I want to hit a land here. If it's like a Black Cleave Cliff, I don't want to actually risk it coming into play tapped. So. Yep, it is just a regular mountain. Mountain Dreadbore. It could be Dreadbore. We, now we have Zealous Conscripts online, so we can actually steal the Ashiok and do whatever we want with it. So it's not Snapcaster, because our it might just be Counterspell. It might just be Mountain Counterspell. Yeah, that's good. Um, let's put you first, then you first, then you, you, and you. All right. Seems good. Seems reasonable. They're in top deck mode, so that's nice. Oh, they do get a Mall Drifter off this guy, though. Yeah, that's pretty rough. Yep, that is a good one. God, you're welcome. God, Ashrock getting true name and Mall Drifter. Seems good. No artifacts, unfortunately. These people don't know how to draft the Vintage Cube, clearly. Yeah, well, he's kicking our butt right now. I kicked your mom's butt last night. No, you didn't. <coughs> Were you there? <coughs> well, kick a man when he's down. Were you down? Two, three, four, five, and then we can keep up counterspell, which is nice. We do have to find an answer to this true name nemesis. We don't have any of those. I <laughs> think you're right, actually. Down and out, am I? <laughs> Did he get rid of our Splinter Twin? Uh, not yet. Oh, that's a good... And it's also not in the bottom five cards. Six cards? Five cards? Yeah, that's pretty good. Repeal? No, dude, get out of here with that nonsense. You want to replay Ashiok? No, dude. Stop. Give him to me. Give it to me. Uh... Put a creature... Say one. Oh, goodbye. They can attack for five here. Um, yeah, we're just going to wait. Wow, if Splinter Twin's on top, that'd be such gas. We don't have a second red, though. So we got to get a second red. So let's hope all our red sources are not gone. Black Cleave, Mountain, Mountain. One, two, three, four. Oh, and we put... I think the other red source is, like, literally on the bottom. Want to take the Drifter to attack one at an Ashiok? What's the, what's the difference? Does it matter? Because if they have a removal spell in hand, it kills the Drifter, whereas they get to keep the Ashiok. It's just, it's literally giving you, it, you're letting them have more outs. Any creature removal spell lets them save their Ashiok, which seems pretty bad. Wait, we untapped them. Yeah, this works. I'm so good at this game. You seriously have something? You have one card in your hand? Wow. <sighs> Must be nice. <coughs> yep this is, those in top decks have been insane for him yeah we just have no answer to true name after that cool was that game 3 or game 2 if that was game 3 and they just had to have it yeah it was game no three. it was game 2 alright oh. you don't even know you just said whatever was on your mind 
What was I going to I was going to check something, wasn't I? I thought you meant round. Oh, it was definitely round three. Um, What was I going to check? How yeah. stupid you are? <laughs> you can't gauge that through any any human means. Yeah, I don't know what I was going to check. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. You guys have been great today. Really appreciate everything you have done and all your support and the subs and the follows. Be sure to slam those like and subscribe buttons. And you can check me out on Twitch and Patreon. My links are in the description below if you want to support the stream or the content in any other way. Really appreciate that as well. Uh, you can also have Dex critiqued by me. You can check out MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore. Uh, you get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. Um, so it's definitely... Hunter, stop! I try to, I'm trying to leave! <laughs> and you can yeah so if you're looking for that stuff anyway definitely check that out also one other thing check out Aaron Kane custom deck boxes link is in the description below uh, you can check that out and get 10% off with the promo code Frank so be sure to do that and uh, I'm like laughing under now because like he's just literally whining dude um, I think I forgot to take him out that's no good that's anyway why he's whining. thank you guys for watching really appreciate it slam those like and subscribe buttons I'll see you next time